I'm reviewing over 70 Gravitrax add-ons from 7 Etsy shops. Each shop owner sent me parts of their choosing for these reviews. I evaluate each shop's overall 3D print quality and then review each part individually. Parts get scored in four key areas. First, quality. This evaluates the part's fit, operation, build quality, and ease of use. Second, utility. How useful is this part in a marble run? Does it add new capability to Gravitrax that you didn't have before? Third, fun. This is the part's coolness factor and is my opinion of how much fun the part will add to your marble runs. Lastly, uniqueness. This doesn't measure how good the part is, but whether the part is an original design that you can't get anywhere else. A generic design that is sold by several Etsy shops gets a lower uniqueness score. Hi, I'm Chris. Join me on my quest to find the world's best 3D printed add-ons for Gravitrax marble runs. In this video, I review Etsy shop ZumZum. What do these parts do? Which are best? In the interest of full disclosure, please be aware that I received these parts for free from shop owner Christine for the purposes of this review. Today we're going to examine every Gravitrax add-on sold by the ZumZum shop. We're going to review parts like spiral slide, large funnel, bridge lines, spacer with crossable base, three-way randomizer, high-speed tiles, U-turn tiles, wave slides, maze tile, U-curve tile, stackable crossroads, pumpkin, high-speed rails and slow-speed rails, wobble rails, separator plate, small curved rails, and X-rails. You can buy these parts from Christine's Etsy store at this link. Note that many ZumZum parts can be ordered in a color of your choice. As part of the selection process in the Etsy shop, you will see color options that allow you to customize the parts you order. Let me start with a caveat. 3D printing is somewhat of an art. It's not just the design that counts, but how you print it. It can be difficult to dial in printer settings to get a quality print. Many of these shop owners are improving their designs and print processes over time, so the parts you receive may differ in design and quality from the parts reviewed in this video. Be sure to talk to the shop owner if you have any questions. I'm simply reviewing the parts I received at the time of this video. First, let's take a look at the overall quality of the 3D prints coming out of the ZumZum shop. Overall, the print quality is excellent. Printed layers are precise. Sidewalls are smooth and even. Ghosting is almost imperceptible. Very high quality filaments are used. Overhangs are good with only a small amount of drooping. There is no elephant's foot. Support attachment points are fairly clean. Small features like rail ends are well formed. Print bed surfaces are often glassy smooth, a tie for the best I've seen. Top surfaces are smooth with no gooping, stringing, or scarring, with only an occasional hiccup. A couple of parts had a few small gaps between the infill and the outline, which is purely cosmetic and doesn't affect the part function at all. Overall, the prints from this shop are outstanding and set the bar for all other Etsy shops. The prints are absolutely beautiful. I'm giving ZumZum 4.8 stars for overall print quality. Now let's dive in for a look at the parts. The first part I'm reviewing from the ZumZum shop is the spiral slide. This is a spiral with a fixed exit that is 180 degrees opposite the entrance. As a fixed part, it is less flexible than the Gravitrax spiral. It is a beautifully printed part with a nice smooth gradient. At first I thought that the spiral slide was four height tiles tall but found its entrance was sitting over one millimeter too high. Of course you can use four and a half height tiles and let the marble drop down into the spiral entrance or use a rail. But I let the shop owner know the design needs adjustment to match the five millimeter increments of Gravitrax height tiles. You can also place a decorative marble on top of the spiral slide. Marbles exit the spiral slide with quite a bit of speed because the spiral slide slope is twice as steep as the Gravitrax spiral. The marble will travel farther before needing a boost. Here's my scorecard rating for the spiral slide. For quality, I give four stars. It's a beautiful part with its only problem being the height mismatch to surrounding Gravitrax tiles. For utility, I give two stars. It's not really giving you a new capability since the Ravensburger Gravitrax Spiral Extension can make a four tile height spiral with opposing entrance and exit. Yet, 
On the one hand, the gradient on the spiral slide is twice as steep as the Gravitrax spiral, so it accelerates the marble faster. On the other hand, the Gravitrax spiral is height adjustable, while the spiral slide is not. For fun, I give it three stars. It's not a new type of marble action, but the marble does descend faster than the Gravitrax spiral. For uniqueness, I give two stars. This design is freely available on Thingiverse and can be printed by anyone with a 3D printer. Nevertheless, it appears that ZumZum may be the only Etsy shop currently selling this part. The second part I'm reviewing from the ZumZum shop is the large funnel. The funnel consists of two pieces, the funnel itself and its base. The funnel is three rows wide with two entrances on opposite sides. The funnel can be used on a clear platform without the base. The base has an entrance hole on top and an exit hole on the side, which allows the funnel to be placed anywhere in your tracks. The base has decorative niches on the side. I found a slight design error with the base that caused marbles to get stuck when a rail was inserted in the exit. I let the shop owner know so that the problem could be corrected. The large funnel gives the marbles a decent amount of funnel time, usually five to eight seconds. The funnel is a beautifully printed piece and you can barely see the staggered seams on each level. It appears that a 0.2 millimeter layer height is used, which creates a somewhat stepped funnel surface that still works just fine. Here's my scorecard rating for the large funnel. For quality, I give three stars. It's a nice part that operates well, except for marbles getting stuck at the base exit, which I hope is corrected in the next design iteration. I hope the design is improved to ensure adequate clearance for exiting marbles. For utility, I give five stars. Adding a funnel to your layout gives you marble action unlike anything you'll get with stock Ravensburger parts. For fun, I give five stars. I really like funnels of any size, and this one with dual entrances is a lot of fun. For uniqueness, I give one star. There are at least four other designs of large funnels this size available on Etsy.com, so you have choices. The third set of parts I'm reviewing from the ZumZum shop are the bridge lines. There are several variations of this part, including the two row, the three row, and the triquad. But first, let me explain the need for this part. Have you ever built adjacent towers using Gravitrax pillars or height tiles, only to find that the tiles you place on top aren't aligned? Maybe your floor is not perfectly flat. Or maybe one of the towers is in that unfortunate space between base plates that doesn't really grip anything, so the tower wobbles. It would be nice to have something to tie these towers together and keep the tiles on top aligned. Sometimes I will use the Gravitrax double balcony to align the tiles on top, but the double balcony design only has teeth under one space, preventing the other space from locking into the adjacent tower. I think the double balcony design missed a golden opportunity here to place teeth under both spaces so the double balcony could be used to tie towers together. The bridge line parts fix this shortfall. They are a lot like a Gravitrax double balcony, except that they have teeth under every tile space. They are one half height tile tall and grip well to the tiles sitting on top of them. They don't grip tightly to the height tiles on which they sit, so you cannot cantilever them from a pillar like you can the double balcony. They must be supported on both ends. But you can use it cantilevered in between two stacked pillars held together by a wall. Apart from its lack of grip on the tiles below, the bridge line is well designed. It has smartly designed ribbing that gives these parts a lot of strength despite their low weight. The two row bridge line is the same size as the Gravitrax double balcony, though a bit thicker in the middle. The three row bridge line extends a total of three tile spaces, so the middle space can be suspended over nothing. Remember that many of these parts can be ordered in a variety of colors. The triquad has arms 120 degrees apart and can sit on three pillars, holding four tiles on top. Use them to tie together triplets of towers for some heavy duty stability. The bridge line parts can be used to tie height tiles together to create bridges and even build entire custom shaped platforms. Each space is hollow so they allow marbles to drop through. The bridge line parts also stack compactly for storage. The ZumZum store sells them individually and as a six piece set, which is a better deal. Here's my scorecard rating for the bridge line. For quality, I give four stars. The parts are high quality and strong. The only thing I can think of that would improve their operation is if their teeth gripped onto tiles below, like the double balcony. For utility, I give four stars. Use them as ties, bridges, or platforms where you don't have room to support a clear platform. 
For fun, I give three stars. These parts aren't inherently fun. They are behind the scenes infrastructure, but you can use them to build unique structural elements. For uniqueness, I give one star. This design is freely available on Thingiverse and can be printed by anyone with a 3D printer. These parts are also sold by other Etsy shops. The fourth set of parts I'm reviewing from the ZumZum shop are the spacers with crossable base. These are open height pillars that have a star crossing on their base. You can order them in various colors and in heights from three height tiles to nine height tiles tall. I was provided with three spacers in heights of three, five, and nine pillars. Even though the tallest one arrived with one of its columns broken at the base, this was unnoticeable in operation as it was still sturdy and secure to use. The spacers don't fit tightly into the Gravitrax base plate, but they are stable because their base covers a larger area than Gravitrax pillars and height tiles. The spacers are aligned very well with the height of Gravitrax height stones, so marbles on top won't encounter any ledges or speed bumps. Due to the star crossing at the bottom, you don't have to give up the space where the spacer sits. You can use it as part of your marble run. The tops of the towers don't grab onto clear platforms any stronger than do the Gravitrax height pillars. And of course, the open sides of the pillars allow you to thread rails through the center, expanding your options for packing more marble run fun into a small space. Here's my scorecard rating for the spacer with crossable base. For quality, I give four stars. Overall, these are well-made, sturdy, and useful for passing marbles and rails underneath the marble tile on top. I just think they could be a little more snug on the base plates. For utility, I give five stars. Even though Gravitrax Pro has tunnel pillars that you can thread a single rail through, you can't do this with a tunnel pillar. These spacers give you new capabilities for marble action while supporting Gravitrax elements on top. For fun, I give four stars. It's surprisingly fun to make marbles go through the center of a height tile. For uniqueness, I give one star. There are a lot of designs available that give you the same capability, both on Thingiverse and in other Etsy shops. The fifth part I'm reviewing from the ZumZum shop is the three-way randomizer. This is a hollow piece whose entrances are five height tiles tall. Marbles enter from any direction and roll down the slope's top into the center hole, falling down inside and then randomly popping out one of the three ground level exits. The piece is well printed and even though it's not heavy, it has a solid feel to it. The randomizer has parapets on top which make the entire piece six height tiles tall. By raising the randomizer and exit tiles each one and a half height tiles, I was able to thread exit rails through Gravitrax tunnel pillars. Even though the output rails were horizontal, the marbles exited the randomizer with plenty of speed. The randomizer's output is truly unpredictable. Marbles seem to aim straight for the hole. They don't circle the hole like a funnel. I think it would have been fun if the entrances were designed at an angle, like the Gravitrax Vortex, to make the marbles spin around the center, because the slope on top is actually a great angle to give a nice long funnel performance. Releasing lots of marbles at once, they gather at the center and wait their turn to drop down the center. There were no issues with marbles stopping or jamming at the entrance or exits. Here's my scorecard rating for the three-way randomizer. For quality, I give four stars. This part is really nicely made and I had no problems with its operation at all. I'd give it five stars if it had vortex entrances that were angled to make them spin before dropping down the center hull. For utility, I give four stars. Gravitrax doesn't have a true three-way randomizer, although it is possible to create one by dropping marbles on top of an already triggered volcano. For fun, I give five stars. I could play with this piece all day. For uniqueness, I give one star. This design is freely available on Thingiverse and can be printed by anyone with a 3D printer. This part is also sold by other Etsy shops. The sixth set of parts I'm reviewing from the ZumZum shop are the high speed tiles. These marble tiles have lanes that wrap around the marble, preventing them from skipping off the track. There are two designs, one with 60 and 120 degree curves, and the other with a straight lane flanked by two 120 degree curves. One difficulty with Gravitrax is sometimes marbles will fly off the track if they have too much momentum going into curves. These high speed tiles can keep a marble on the track regardless of its speed, even if a tight turn is placed immediately after a marble cannon. The high speed tiles do a really good job of redirecting the marble and seem to work flawlessly. 
Marbles exit the high speed tiles with their momentum redirected straight out of the exit. I never had a marble leave the track after exiting the tile. But the real test is, do slow marbles roll easily through the tiles? Yes, they do. The high speed tiles add some extra height on top so they are taller than regular Gravitrax tiles. You can see how the curves encapsulate the marbles preventing their escape. Here's my scorecard rating for the high speed tiles. For quality, I give five stars. The tiles are very well printed, look great, and work like magic. For utility, I give five stars. Even though you can use Gravitrax tunnel tiles to keep marbles on a 60 degree curve, these high speed tiles keep marbles on both 60 degree curves and 120 degree curves. For fun, I give five stars. High speed tiles let the marbles fly fast and furious, going around bends at mind bending speeds. For uniqueness, I give one star. High speed tile designs are freely available on Thingiverse and can be printed by anyone with a 3D printer. They are also sold by other Etsy shops. The seventh set of parts I'm reviewing from the Zum Zum shop are the U-turn tiles and wave tiles. The U-turn tiles are available in three styles, covered top, open top with covered exit, and open top with open exit. All three styles offer your choice of placing the exit on the left or right. Additionally, the third variation where the exit is below the entrance. The U-turn tiles are well printed and work without issue. The wave tiles come in three flavors, one with a sideways tunnel, one with a straight tunnel, and the third without a tunnel which is not shown in this video. The wave tiles have depressions for weighted marbles if you wish. The U-turn tiles have a two height tile drop. The wave tile with side tunnel has a three tile height drop, while the wave tile with straight tunnel has a three and a half tile drop. Marbles roll through these parts smoothly and pick up a speed from the drop in height. The U-turn tiles not only change a marble's direction abruptly, but accelerate the marble as well. The U-turn tiles can be used back to back, and even with a train of marbles, I never had a marble get stuck. The pieces had beautiful, smooth finishes, with the exception of a couple artifacts. I found the wave tiles fun. They really accelerate a marble quite a bit, and the marble going sideways underneath was really cool. I really liked the wave tile with straight tunnel, which could do some cool tricks. It can be used to reverse marbles or merge them from two directions. Here's my scorecard rating for the U-turn tiles and wave tiles. For quality, I give five stars. The tiles are very well printed, look great, and work flawlessly. For utility, I give five stars. These give you new kinds of action for your marble run fun. For fun, I give five stars. I really like these tiles more than I thought I would. For uniqueness, I give one star. These designs are on Thingiverse and in other Etsy shops. The eighth part I'm reviewing from the Zum Zum shop is the maze tile. I reviewed this maze tile design in a previous video, which you can watch here. The maze tile is definitely an amazing fun design. This version of the maze tile from the Zum Zum shop is very well printed and worked most of the time. However, since it was printed with a 0.2 millimeter layer height, I found that could lead to some unexpected stalling of the marble. When I had printed the part, I had used a 0.12 millimeter layer height, and it seems that small difference helps the part work better. Here is one of the dark gray tiles I had printed for that review, and it doesn't jam. It looks like the smaller layer height provides a more gradual slope. With the 0.2 millimeter layer height of the part from the Zum Zum shop, there are larger flat areas in the middle of the path, and this makes marble stalls more likely. I gave this feedback to the shop owner with my recommendation that the part be printed with a smaller layer height to avoid marble stalling. Here's my scorecard rating for the maze tile. For quality, I give three stars. The tile is well printed, but it needs a shorter layer height to really make this part work reliably. For utility, I give five stars. There's no other part that gives this kind of marble action. For fun, I give five stars. It's super fun when it works. For uniqueness, I give one star. The design is on Thingiverse and in other Etsy shops. The ninth part I'm reviewing from the Zum Zum shop is the U-curve tile. I also reviewed this part in the maze tile review video. This is also a cool tile with fun marble action. In my previous video, I concluded that I liked the version with the shorter 5mm drop because why unnecessarily waste your height? But the part available in the Zum Zum shop is the version with the larger 1cm drop or the height of a single height tile. The U-curve tile is very well printed. Marbles travel counterclockwise around the curve. 
It would be nice if the Zumzum shop also offered the mirror image tile for clockwise marble travel, which would allow us to build switchbacks with U-curves. Here's my scorecard rating for the U-curve tile. For quality, I give 5 stars. It just works. For utility, I give three stars. You can make a similar configuration part out of the Gravitrax Spiral, but it will give a slightly larger drop of one and a half height tiles. For fun, I give four stars. It's fun, but would be even more fun if you could buy both clockwise and counterclockwise versions. For uniqueness, I give one star. The design is on Thingiverse and is also available in at least two other Etsy shops. The tenth set of parts I'm reviewing from the ZumZum shop are the stackable crossroads. These are marble tiles with integrated platforms for stacking other pieces on top. They come in three styles, curves, star, and three-in-one merge. The tiles are two height tiles tall, just tall enough to let a marble pass through, while placing another piece on top. They make for an interesting show when placed side by side. Because the supports somewhat hide the marble tracks underneath, it leaves you guessing where the marble will go. Marble travel through the tiles is nice and smooth, including on the three-way merge tile. I experienced no issues at all with these tiles. They look good stacked on top of each other and make for an interesting marble tower. I don't know, doesn't this remind you of the Tower of Pisa? When stacked as a tower, you can make the marbles go through the tower multiple times, which is fun. Here's my scorecard rating for the stackable crossroads. For quality, I give 5 stars. The quality of the tile prints is very good, and they're dependable. They just work. For utility, I give 5 stars. Being able to build on top of marble tiles is a great capability to have. For fun, I give 5 stars. I find it really cool seeing a marble go into one of these tiles and guessing where it's going to exit. For uniqueness, I give 1 star. There are several designs available that let you stack marble tiles on top of one another, available on Thingiverse and in other Etsy shops. The eleventh part I'm reviewing from the ZumZum shop is the pumpkin. This is a unique Halloween-themed design from Thingiverse that has two marble inputs at the eyes. The marbles merge together inside and come out a common exit at the mouth. The input height is approximately two height tiles tall. This is what it looks like with three rails attached. The rail attachment points are properly positioned, so I had no issues with attaching rails to the pumpkin. The marbles go through nice and smooth. The print quality on this model is excellent. The surface finish looks really good. The top is not removable, but the model's design creates the illusion that it could be a separate piece. Here's my scorecard rating for the pumpkin. For quality, I give 5 stars. I found no issues with its operation. For utility, I give 4 stars. This piece merges marbles in a new and interesting way. For fun, I give three stars. It's a unique design with fun marble action, but the jack-o'-lantern's evil look and Halloween theme puts a damper on the fun factor. There is nothing fun about the spiritually dark themes of Halloween as practiced here in the United States. No one in the U.S. decorates their houses on Halloween with innocent themes like princesses or superheroes. Instead, the decorations have become a macabre focus on glorifying death spiritual darkness, horror, and every demonic thing imaginable, and for that reason I personally don't celebrate Halloween. I can't embrace spiritual darkness on Halloween as if it were a good thing, and then two months later embrace the coming of the light of the world on Christmas. The two holidays have become polar opposites in what they celebrate. I would however like to see more Gravitrax designs that, like this pumpkin, integrate sculpture and thematic elements into Gravitrax add-ons. For uniqueness, I give two stars. This design is freely available on Thingiverse, but I haven't seen it sold elsewhere yet on Etsy. The twelfth set of parts I'm reviewing from the ZumZum shop are the high speed rails and slow rails. The high speed rails are available in one and two space lengths. The slow rails are available in one, two, and three space lengths. The slow rails have hollowed out spaces in the bottom of the rails, whereas the high speed rails have solid floors. These rails are really well printed with crisp rail ends and no stringing. At first the two space slow rail didn't quite reach up three and a half height tiles like the regular Gravitrax rail, but it could bridge a three height tile difference. Eventually with a lot of coaxing I was able to get the rail to stay in place with a three and a half height tile slope, but it was more difficult to get in place than the regular Gravitrax rail. The Gravitrax slow rail works because the rail contacts the marble near its edges. The regular Gravitrax rails contact the marble much closer together. 
The slow rails from the Zum Zum shop contact the marble somewhere in between the Gravitrack's regular rail and slow rail. In tests, the slow rail from Zum Zum was slower than the regular Gravitrax rail, but not nearly as slow as the Gravitrax slow rail. The high-speed rail I received to review was the one-space rail, so it was difficult to measure its speed difference. I think the high-speed rail's main benefit are its high walls which help keep the marble on the track in places it might tend to derail. It can also be used to catch marbles without a marble catcher. Here's my scorecard rating for the high-speed rails and slow rails. For quality, I give four stars. The rails worked fine, except for the difficulty of using the two-space rail on a three-and-a-half height tile slope. For utility, I give three stars. The slow rails aren't really that slow. They're just a tad slower than regular Gravitrax rails. For fun, I give two stars. Frankly, it's just not a piece that has that fun factor. For uniqueness, I give two stars. The designs are freely available on Thingiverse. The 13th set of parts I'm reviewing from the Zum Zum shop are the wobble rails. These rails come in lengths of one, two, or three spaces and provide a nice back and forth wobble motion of the marbles. I tried the three space rail with a slope of one half height tile difference and the marble stalled at the exit. Raising the entrance up to one height tile was sufficient. The wobble rails provide a smooth, consistent motion of the marbles while slowing down the marble's forward motion. The rails do rock a little with the short rail rocking the most. The large rail seemed most stable. Even with long trains of marbles, the action was consistent so marbles were not gaining on each other. Here's my scorecard rating for the wobble rails. For quality, I give five stars. The rails worked really well without operational problems. For utility, I give five stars. They provide a nice wobble action that Gravitrax doesn't. For fun, I give five stars. Available in different lengths and colors, they add an element of fun to any track. For uniqueness, I give one star. The designs are freely available on Thingiverse and sold by other Etsy shops. The 14th part I'm reviewing from the Zum Zum shop is the separator plate. This is an interesting switch design that relies on the marble's weight rather than its speed to toggle the switch. The output is one height tile high and the input is two tiles high. The separator plate causes marbles to alternate exits and seems to work faster than the stock Gravitrax switch. However, if marbles enter back to back, they can jam. The separator plate consists of an input chute that rolls the marble into a gull-shaped toggle piece with a backing wall that ensures the marble drops down one side or the other and then rolls out. Here's my scorecard rating for the separator plate. For quality, I give five stars. The part is well printed and works without binding. For utility, I give four stars. Gravitrax switches require the incoming marble to have enough kinetic energy to toggle the switch. The separator plate is faster and due to the height drop will operate even with slow marbles. For fun I give three stars. It's kind of neat to see it in operation, but its action is more subtle, so it's not a super flashy piece. For uniqueness I give one star. The design is available on Thingiverse and this item is sold by other Etsy shops. The 15th part I'm reviewing from the Zum Zum shop is a small curved rail. This rail gives you a 60 degree curve in rail form. The part is well printed with no stringing or deformities. The rail fits very snugly into Gravitrax tiles. While Gravitrax curved tiles require an angle tile underneath in order to give them a slope, the small curved rail can be set at an angle simply by varying the height tiles under adjacent marble tiles. Marbles run nice and smooth through the rail. Even though the rail fits snugly, the fit is not too tight. Here's my scorecard rating for the small curved rail. For quality, I give 5 stars. The parts design and printing are very good and it works very well. For utility, I give 5 stars. The only curved rails that Ravensburger makes are Bernoulli rails that drop the marble down over 3 height tiles. These rails fill the gap by allowing more gentle slopes and even horizontal operation. For fun, I give 4 stars. I like the bridge-like feel as the marbles seemingly hang over nothing. For uniqueness, I give 1 star. The design is available on Thingiverse and this item is sold in other Etsy shops. The 16th part I'm reviewing from the Zum Zum shop is the X-Rail. This is a junction tile in rail form. It can be used horizontally or placed at a slant so that dueling marbles can gain speed as they race. The fit is good and the operation is smooth. Here's my scorecard rating for the X-Rail. For quality, I give 5 stars. Parts design and printing are very good and they work very well. 
For utility, I give four stars. The advantage of this part that you don't get with a stock Gravitrax junction tile is that you can slant the rail to keep your marble race going. For fun, I give four stars. I think rail-based marble action is often more fun to watch than marbles rolling in tiles. For uniqueness, I give one star. The design is available on Thingiverse, and this item is sold in other Etsy shops. That wraps up my review of Gravitrax add-ons from Etsy shop ZumZum. Tell me in the comments, which add-on is your favorite? To see all the Etsy shops I reviewed so far, click this playlist. Subscribe and click the notification bell to be notified when I release other Etsy shop reviews of Gravitrax add-ons.